Just like you saw in the opening, it is very important to start a video with a design opening, which can grab the viewer's attention immediately. But some people might feel confused by working with too many facts. Thus, how to construct and bring your idea into a video? Don't worry. In this series, we'll roll out four episodes in total, with the first episode being the production ideas and the rest being the detailed tutorial. And in today's video, we will start with the production ideas to know how to design such an intro. Color is the most direct sense of viewers when they see your video. Among so many video intros, it is not hard to see different color schemes would give the video a whole different tone. For example, in this video, I set a tone to be something cool and design-oriented. Thus, I used the texture black as a main color, and a bold green as a secondary color. At last, I added two other colors, white and gray, to make the whole picture more harmonious and intense. If you're not quite familiar with the use of color, you can choose less than three colors to design your color scheme. Of course, you can also use some color schemes websites to help you match colors more quickly. In this intro, I used four types of image layout. Let's talk about the push and pull transition effect, which in fact is to divide the image structure into two parts, and the move goes towards the image. And with the sound of breaking glass, the whole scene will come out more unified. And then the picture-in-picture -picture transition effect. It works to crop the image or rescale the image to form a picture-in-picture -picture structure and then transit to the scene. Then, the screen cut transition cuts the image into three segments. And the three parts appear in sequence. At last, there we have the overlay transition effect. It duplicates the same video three times, but change your colors or effect, and then appear in sequence to create a stronger sense of rhythm. In the production of video intros, especially some cute vlog intros, creators would often use a lot of stickers to decorate them. And in a design intro like this one, I choose to use some small animation materials and add it with VideoPro Vlogger to create a stronger motion sense. You can find in the description box down below the download link of the materials we use for arrows, dotted lines, plus sign, and box. Feel free to download and use them. If you want to know how I added those effects, leave a comment in the comment section down below and we will roll out a related tutorial if you are interested. While doing intro production, text is a very important part. In the previous tutorials, we haven't shown such a cinematic text effect. And also, this hand-drawn text format for travel vlogs. And for this intro effect, I used the sliding effect, flashing, and a jumping effect, which not only express the content of the image, but also enrich the image. Alright, that's all for today's video. In the last three episodes, we will show you how to bring all these ideas into your video. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe channel if you haven't yet. Hope you enjoy. Bye-bye.